Hi everyone, I'm Ak Sharma from Sonazip Security Research and we have some pretty big news for you today. A researcher managed to hack systems of over 35 major tech organizations in a novel kind of software supply chain attack. The attack comprised the researcher uploading malware to open source repositories such as PyPy, NPM and RubyGems, which got distributed downstream to these companies automatically. I say automatically because the beauty of this attack is in all kinds of other typo squatting and brand jacking attacks Sonatype has seen, the victim needs to make some kind of mistake, like a spelling mistake that they mistyped as package name and they got the counterfeit package instead of the real one. In this particular novel software supply chain attack though, the companies or the users there did not have to do a thing. The packages got distributed downstream to their software development bills automatically. Now, the next question comes, how could that have happened? That happened because of a novel concept involved here called dependency confusion. Through his ethical hacking research efforts, the security researcher, Alex Burson, who was involved in this research, he figured a way to identify the names of private open source packages created by these companies and being used in their bills. But these packages did not exist in any public open source repositories. So for example, if PayPal or Microsoft, they were using a package named ECB-PayPal, its counterpart did not exist in the official NPM repository. These were internal packages created by the companies and being used internally. So what Alex wondered was, would it be possible to squat packages by the same name in the open source repositories? And turned out, yes, you could. A private package, which has never been published to these public repositories, uh, in, in fact, can be squatted on the public repositories. So to test this hypothesis, Alex started to publish packages which had the same names as the private packages being created and used internally by these companies. However, these packages had Alex's malicious code in it, which would make a call back to him or phone him home telling that so-and-so companies downloaded his package. And this can happen for a couple of reasons. In some ecosystems, they just prefer uh, pulling from public repository if two names exist. For example, a package foobar exists in your private build and there's a public foobar. Uh, some installations may default to pulling packages from the public NPM repository. And in PyPy's case, for example, Alex noticed that the higher version gets priority. So if you were using a version foobar 1.0 and PyPy had a version foobar 9999, you would get the foobar 9999 from PyPy downloads as opposed to your what exists in your local build. I just want to say I'm blown away by this because dependency hijacking through dependency confusion, which is what Alex took advantage of here, it's even better than typo squatting. No effort was required on the victim's part. They automatically got malicious code in their bills. And there does not seem to be an easy solution to this problem. Uh, unless you change your default installation, you know, your tool installation tools, workflows, etc. So one key finding I want to stress is that because Sonatype has been monitoring these packages from the beginning, we had these in our data. So if you are a Sonatype customer and there was no way to spot these packages because they use the exact same name as the legitimate private packages, it's our product that would have caught it right then and there. As soon as you pull the, uh, you know, Alex Person's test package in your build, as opposed to your private one, Sonatype would have flagged this as malicious. And this goes back to the importance of knowing what's inside your code or having a software bill of materials, something that Sonatype can tremendously help you. As you know, Sonatype security research team has been monitoring the development on this particular research since early 2020. So please get in touch with us should you have any questions or concerns. That's it for now. Another big story for another day. Stay tuned.